this mid-19th century Victorian house belongs to an award-winning actress and singer. Barbara Dixon showed us round her beautiful family house and told us why home really is where the heart is. Well, welcome to the old vicarage where I live and have lived for about 10 years now. Um, obviously, in a house like this, we've tried to give it back its character. So most of the furniture and the paintings reflect the colours of the house and the period that it was built. It's important to Oliver, my husband and myself that we've done this. This breakfast room was the original old kitchen. You can hear probably by the sound of my voice that it's quite big and echoey. And um, we, we installed in this room um, things that we thought would be nice to have as an informal dining room. We've got a wood-burning stove which we put where the previous occupants had a linen cupboard. We've put Gothic windows in those French windows there where they were just ordinary windows and put a big pine dresser which would have been a sort of a Victorian feature. And um, on, on the walls here, these are watercolours painted by the architect S.S. Toulon, which are um, to do with, uh, when he was pitching for the job to build the house, he would have done these watercolours to show to the man who was going to pay for it, um, to say, this is what your house is going to look like. I'll take you through to the kitchen now, and this is like a sort of series of units as opposed to fitted kitchen. I wanted it to look like it had been here for a hundred years. In fact, it hasn't. It was all put in new when we came here. And this is an old 1970s stove, uh, which it, it, I know they say it's the heart of the home, but indeed that is true. Well, this is the drawing room and is obviously the main kind of reception room in the house. The first thing we did was we replaced a not very good fireplace that was a reproduction fireplace with a genuine uh, Victorian one. And if I want to play or rehearse or sing or, or do anything myself, I work at this piano and I've got this fantastic panoramic view of uh, the wolves from this window. These, these, these hills are just completely delightful. It has a really tranquil quality. Well, this is the dining room. And as you can see, it's uh, full of candles and very rich decor. Now you think it's eight o'clock at night, don't you? Well, I'm just about to reveal something to you. It's not. This is a shutter. And if I move it, you'll see that it's daylight. The other thing I want to show you in here is this terrific painting of me. I've never had a, paint, a portrait ever painted of me before. When I showed it to my mum, I brought it, brought it here and I showed it to my mum. I said, look at this fantastic picture. And she said to me, I think it makes you look old. And I said, I am old. <laughs> and I said, you think I'm 15, but I'm not. It's a fantastic likeness. Well, here we are on the main staircase of the house, which is one of its original features we like so much past. David Livingstone and some of my theatre awards here, up to the first floor. Well, here we are in the master bedroom, and this is one of the reasons why we wanted to live in this place, because this is the most beautiful view, uh, that it's unspoiled, it's wonderful, it's an outstanding area of natural beauty and it, to, to wake up in a room like this is just the business there is no better now we're going upstairs to the children's quarters so this is the very top of the house and this is where the children are it's such a mess Well, I suppose that this is the archetypal, big, rambling Victorian vicarage that's so famous and everybody wants to live in. And we are very lucky because we have lived here and restored it over the last 10 years. But it's a great house and we love it. <laughs>